When a person becomes paralyzed, a level of their independence is also robbed from them. And that affects us psychologically and our spirits. There's a part of us that dies. I've been trying to visualize myself a contraption that would enable me to get up and walk. I thought, well, is it going to be an avatar, perhaps a robot? And then I received the phone call to try this new technology, the e-legs. I've heard from so many people that the first thing that they encounter after an injury uh, or an amputation uh, is the word no. And I think we are demonstrating here that there is no such word as no. Elex is, is really built on the platform or, or the legacy of, uh, of Hulk. Hulk is an application that we made for the military and we have licensed it to uh, Lockheed Martin. In 2005, when Berkeley Bionics was founded, we entered a license agreement with the University of California to commercialize the innovative exoskeleton technology that was developed at the Robotics and Human Engineering Laboratory. ELEGS is, as an engineer, one of the most satisfying projects to work on because it's an integration of so many interesting talents, mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, programming control, and really when you bring all those aspects together, that's when you get a really innovative product. To take my first step in the e-legs was just astounding because I bent my knee for the first time in 18 years and I placed my heel on the ground and then I transferred my weight and then I took another step and another one and it was so natural and that was what really gripped me. In my field of spinal cord injury, uh, we work with people who typically are paralyzed for the rest of their life. For the first time in history, we can start to think about giving movement back. I think what's particularly exciting about exoskeleton research currently is that it's becoming much more compact and affordable and therefore potentially useful in medical applications. This can become the first rehabilitative device. After someone's injured, they go from walking right back to walking. While they still have the muscle memory within them, they're able to power up and walk in a very safe, tethered environment. But to keep those muscles firing, to weight bear on their legs, keep the blood circulating, their digestive systems working well, there's huge therapeutic benefits for this device that then will become a preventative measure in the long term because our bodies are meant to be walking upright and moving. When I think about the emotions that are connected with me being in a chair all day long and I think of the, the feeling of being able to just go outside and grab some firewood and bring it back inside, being able to reach for the upper cupboard. I, I, I'm not able to do that today, and, and ELEGS demonstrates to me that that is possible. In the future, we will introduce another device that is specially designed for homes. That device will actually allow you to step in it in the morning, go and have your breakfast, then you drive off to work, even wearing it. You can walk in the park, you can go with your friends to the ball game, and it's uh, pretty much your companion during the whole day. The most exciting possibility for the e-legs for me is to take it outside into the real world. I'm not meant to be in my wheelchair, sitting down and rolling. I'm going to be tall in my body to walk on sidewalks, to go into a restaurant. I'm doing it! <laughs> but most importantly, 
to hike in nature. This is not a wave of the future. The e-legs is happening right now. I don't have to be hopeful. This is reality.